detail. Okay, turkey, not ham. Keep turkey, going. No one, eat, no one eats ham. It's, it's, it's oh. turkey. And you get a turkey about the size of a woolly mammoth. Do you uh, have turkeys in London, though? Or oh, yeah, they're, the they're, 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 they're wild. wild. They, you, they, you walk through oh, Hyde yeah. Park. Do they look eat. like ambush turkeys with the red... No. no. Rick, I'm lying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, 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 they're Do you have them wild in Hyde Park, no? No! Oh. It's a gold cross, it's a gold cross, it's a gold cross, it's a gold cross, it's a gold cross. In the world before monkey, primal chaos reigned. And on that, it's uh, Tuesday night, uh, 19th of December, 2017. It's our Christmas edition of this podcast show. I want to welcome Matt G. Good evening. Ricka Waters. Good evening. And me. It's a Christmas edition. So yeah. It's How like, can you be quiet over there? No, so if it's a Christmas edition, we should sing a Christmas song. Okay. Okay, no, no, I've, no. I've been, I've, been, I've been singing... Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow all oh, day. Yeah. Oh, that suits the 31 you. Degree heat. That suits yeah, you. Yeah, though. you're from London. That's you get so all that. Thank uh, you so rain. much. Rain? Rain. rain. No, it doesn't snow. It rains. Can you sing it for us? Where does it snow in in the UK then? Ah, uh, it's like it's, a it, proper white Christmas. Um, Scotland, maybe the north of England. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes down south, but not often. Ah. It was it was snowing in London uh, about a week, yeah. Um, but now it's back to rain. Back to sleet and, and rain, uh, cold and slushy boots. And I, and I was I was in London for I don't know thirty years, and I can only remember one one white Christmas. Really? Yeah. Holy shit! Really? And he's from the Northern Hemisphere. When I was in the Northern Hemisphere, I had white Christmases every year. Yeah, that was in Japan. Yeah. Japan. Yeah. But you're in Tokyo. No. Where? Osaka. That's down south. No, it's over the west. Yeah, but it's still not too cold. <laughs> no, they don't, it doesn't snow in Osaka, but my godfather lived in a place called Fukui. Yep. What's his uh, name? Yagi Kumakichi. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow, cool. That's my godfather. And, and it, like, oh, that's <laughs> another story altogether because they don't have godfathers in Japan, right? All right, okay. Yeah, so <laughs> he's like, what? what's a godfather? And my father's explaining... Oh, you know, if something happens to me, then oh. you're responsible for my yeah, child. Right. And he's like, oh, for little Rika. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do yeah. anything for little Rika. And then Does he up, know that you've drank a bottle of vodka, half no, a bottle of vodka he's today? he's been dead for like the last... <laughs> yeah, worrying years. about you. He's been... <laughs> sorry, sorry, might Stressed out worrying about you. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you're off the rails, Rika. Oh, tonight I am. No, you're not. You're having a good time. Because oh, it's Christmas. drinking like a... Ah, it's I Christmas. Know, half past twelve. Did ya? Yeah. But you know, it's Christmas. Hey, you can do whatever you want. You've been studying hard. I've been working hard. I was explaining to Matt that on Saturday, um, I had three Christmas parties to go to and a gig at nine thirty. So one was in Brisbane Christmas party, and because I was going to all these Christmas parties, I really cared about. There was jujitsu. There was nippers. There was my family one, but a gig at nine thirty in Brisbane. Oh, in, at Broadbeach. Yeah. Meant I couldn't really drink more than one at each thing. And by the time I got to the second one, back from Brisbane, I was so tired. I'm like, I'm so, I can't go to nippers. But I was laying in bed at home going, I need to have two hours sleep or one hour sleep before I do a gig tonight that's going to yeah. go to one thirty. <gasps> yes. And I didn't. Finally got to the gig and the gig was cancelled. And then I walked, drove home going... What time did it get cancelled? Like 10.30. Oh, that's sorta. all right. So the... But the problem was... Here I have, you know, look at us. We've worked hard all year. And to not have one fucking drink at your own fucking Christmas party <laughs> that you've put a lot of fucking time into. That's you, though. I get to drink at my parties. And I think, do. I don't know about Maddie, but you know what? I, um, <laughs> I get, what's, what's that called? Like, uh, no, no, no. Pissed. No. Wasted. <laughs> <laughs> Half naked in a pool. <laughs> no, when you put something up on the post on, on your Facebook post and you have that little, you know. Yep, still shit faced. No, yeah, oh. I might be, but no, that little oh, the the little chuckle to yourself that you have with your Facebook post because you're, you're like, say, like, 
Okay, so I tell a client. Yeah, you're. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, they're so cool. I tell a client the photos are going to be shit, and they're like, "No, <laughs> go and do it anyway." <laughs> Matt, G, you have the best. You really do. You do. Right, to have your own. Here's a. Here's a shh, it's a good point, Rico. Right? If you go to Matt G Photography's website, and I'm not even plugging you here, but every, most most wankers, even in this podcast world, right? They've, they're putting out their own podcast show for entrepreneurs or something, and it's all about promotion. And yes, and I've got my own business, and I'm going to do this and push it forward and do the best for my clients. Yeah. Your own thing is taking the piss out of those very clients. <laughs> 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 Shush, but it's good. Rap, rap, it's private. <laughs> but it's more endearing. It's more, it, it makes is. you want to. Rap, it's, rap, it's but, but, but you care about them because you actually say to them, no, this is going to be shit. And then it's like, I don't care. I want you to do it anyway. And you're like, okay, then. And then they go, this is shit. And you're like, no shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was right. I was right. right that's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's why you get a photographer to do it. Um, but, yeah, but shush, shush, people. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> it stands out. <laughs> Standing out's the best. What's Facebook like, like now? Oh, it's been four months for me. I'm off. But your. Um, Anything changed? No, but your photos are. Absolutely fucking gorgeous. I can't, like, I don't know, maybe I'm biased because all the photos I've seen of me make me look fucking gorgeous. They do. Don't they? Yeah. Yeah. You're quite easy to photo. Yeah. Ooh. I've always thought that. And I'm not being, not creeping on you, Ricker, but I've always kind of looked at Ricker and gone, you haven't got a bad angle. You know what I mean? Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't yeah. you say? P- pretty much any angle. Yeah, good, good angle. Really? Yeah. 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 You've easy. heard me say that. For sure, I'm sure. But I can't do selfies. Good, Um, good. (laughs) Because I think, you know, I think a lot of ladies put on a, when they're, you know, when they stand all weird, they're going to do like some photo with their girlfriend, they stand all totally like weird. And they they go for that that face. You know when you had to do that one Mm, photo that you know you look good and you kind of go from that pose like. (laughs) Yeah. Chicks do that when they when they're with their mates. I reckon they go for that one pose, that one photo that they remember seeing themselves looking great in. They go for that, but a good photographer will go, "Yeah, hey, look, so look, it's a fluffy thing with with look glitter at the on thing. it. Look at the thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, models don't do fish mount. Don't yeah. they? No, <laughs> I've never noticed. I saw a model video the other day, and it was so captivating. She was a chick from, she was on the. Go- oh, I wish I. She's from Barcelona. But her whole thing was so bizarre. And to watch in video uh, a model do a photo shoot where she almost looked angry, she'd kind of go like... Oh. She'd like pull away slow motion with these funny faces. But everything sort of had this like... As if she was in slow motion. You'd see this more than any of us, Matt. But but to see it in video... Yeah, it's good that if you've got um, like a really good model. Because... Well, I was about to start slagging. Tell us, tell us, tell us. I was about to start slagging. Slag them too. Slag them, slag them. I can't, I can't, I can't stand yeah, it. With, I can't stand it when people move too much. Like right. some people, like, they really get into this kind of like dance and stuff and I'm trying to take a photo. And, um, and whenever I'm working with a model right, right at the beginning, I'm saying, okay, if I ask you to move, I mean by half an inch. Just like this much, this much, this much. Not to uh, uh, go to uh, and then completely spin around. I'm like, just getting the light. Because I work mostly in a studio. Like the difference between here and here is only half an inch. This is great, this is shit. And uh, so I'm, I always say, again, when I, when I say to move, just a little bit. And then like the really good models I've shot with a few times, they actually watch what I'm doing yeah. and can, can do like predict what move, what I'm about to ask before I even do it. Because I'm doing this silly, silly little thing where, where I'm waving my arms about and I'm, and I'm, I'm looking like a complete tart modelling at the back. And, <laughs> um, and then, uh, but then the model knows what's, what's going to happen before I've even asked. And they're brilliant. They, they get asked back uh-huh. and they get, I work with them again mm. and again and again. That's, that's the difference between the, the model you work with every time and one you just work with once. I can't remember what program it was that I saw it on, but I remember one of them, oh, it might have been a Miranda Kerr documentary or something, but everything she did, oh, Miranda Kerr. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. It might have actually been Kate Moss. Okay. <laughs> Miranda Kerr was really popular no, for a while. No, yeah, I know. Yeah, but Same with I, like, I don't know. It was, it was one of those like really famous models and what they did was, they did like the whole one, two, three, 
one, two, three. So they didn't actually, they weren't, you know, like every pose they took, it was like oh, three seconds. Had some hair three flick. Seconds, three seconds. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it gave the photographer a chance to actually take it if he wanted to and if he didn't. Oh, right. Actually, maybe okay. maybe if you get that to that level of modelling, you kind of conduct the room. Ma- imagine that. If you were – imagine if your mind took over. It's like my, my thoughts about you too. When you're, you're just the biggest in the world, who can, who can listen – who can not listen to you or – not that I even really care about you too, but, but if you were – What? No, Kate Moss or <laughs> Naomi Campbell, and you walk in, <laughs> and you walk in, and Matt G's wanting you to move for an inch. I'm sure she would be like, "Who are you to tell me what to do?" You know, there must be a bit of mind ego happening for those that, <gasps> at the top. Yes, tell us about that. That dynamic. <laughs> that, it's not too. It's, a, it's not too bad. I, I like that. Um, oh, this is going to sound bad, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of the models think that they're the most important person in the photo shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not. No. The photographer is. Ooh. Right. And, uh, okay. If it's if it's someone that's if it's someone that's paying for a portrait and stuff, then the yeah, client yeah, yeah. the client is. If yeah. However, the the. Um, uh, so for a cosmopolitan shoot, then who's the most important for a cosmopolitan? Oh, that, that would depend on. Um, is does does Cosmo want the picture of the model, or have they hired the photographer? Because it, uh, what, what's the picture about? Is it, is it about the model or is it about the is it about the photographer? But um, so okay, if it was a Time magazine, oh, that's my that that will be the photographer's interpretation of the uh, of the photo of, of the subject of the subject. Because um, I, I do like a, a lot of um, like uh, workshops and stuff. I do mm. and and, and uh, sometimes you're talking about doing portraits of people that don't know they're having their photo taken. Yeah, and um, we go through a little bit of I can make anyone look an asshole. And, I believe uh, that. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. And um, just from where you, where you take the the shot from, and where you put them, yeah. which, which direction they're, they're, they're and uh, then which one you choose and from uh, the ones that it's not it's not even the one you choose because like, oh, really? if, if you do, it, I don't mean like you kind of like get the bad photo. I don't mean yeah. a bad photo. You want a good photo of them. Like, politicians is dead easy. You shoot them from underneath yeah. so that they look like kind of like a big despotic. Um, Tyrant Ooh. by with with her arms maybe with some gels um, like fat <laughs> neck or and you and um, and if you put um, so if, it uh, with with if with um, with Trump for yeah. example yeah, I mean, yeah. they they uh, they always or at least often if you see it in the newspapers they'll shoot him and he's he's offset in the in the, in the picture and he's looking. Um, to the to the short side, and what that makes him look like is is ignoring you. Oh, rather rather than looking into the photo, he's, he's, look, he's looking out of the photo, and it, and it makes it look like he's ignoring you, and it makes him look like the arrogant asshole that yeah. he is. Um, so, if, if you, that was the message you wanted, to, or if that was the the um, impression you wanted to give to the well, especially for Time Magazine, it could be yeah. the worst guy in the uh, in the of the year. Holy fuck! Does that not give? Wow. A, does that not just put another layer on media? Oh, yeah. Has, yeah. Well, what about when you see? Doesn't um, it? It could be uh, Harvey Weinstein right now. You know, someone who's who's busted for being a creep. Some photographer, yeah, I found my creepy photo, and that's the one they use. Him like, yeah. Oh god, yeah. yeah they, or they could they, have a really not... sophisticated one, or they could have a really slutty one of the chick mm. that would totally discredit her too. Yeah, but yeah. So that works both ways. Yeah, yeah so it, it's yeah. it's like how fucking God, scary. Oh, hey, how scary. You should do a bunch of photos of us where you're discrediting us for a couple of weeks. Uh, <laughs> you know I, mean? I can do that. Yeah, yeah, do it, please. But it's no. But, but Rick has got the best angles. I don't it's think really it. interesting to know that because people are influenced <laughs> by a picture of my asshole. How'd you get that? Yeah, no. no it's just captured your best bit. Sorry it's just that. my arsehole, Matt. <laughs> yeah, well, that's you, isn't it? <laughs> but people are influenced by what they see and what they hear. And if what they see can be influenced by what is projected on their TV screens or whatever and what they hear is influenced by pro- what's projected on their radios or iP- iPods, on their, <laughs> I- on their podcasts... <laughs> Because we're trying to, we're trying to. <laughs> <laughs> the one reality TV show I did, which was big in the UK, 
was um, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Yep. All right. I've spoken about it too many times to care, but Alyssa did it. I was the ten. I was the the ten people they put for one week before <gasps> the show. 